Good morning, 47. We have a lead on the Shadow Client. ICA White Hats have traced the anonymous data received by our clients to one Olivia Hall, brilliant young hacktivist and suspect in a dozen cases of cyber vandalism. Using onion routing with state-of-the-art encryption, Hall went to a lot of trouble to stay untraceable. She is good, but we are better. Her digital trail has led us to a remote farm in Colorado, where satellite footage has revealed what appears to be the training camp for a private militia, led by an already registered target, Sean Rose, Australian environmental terrorist and explosives expert wanted for a series of public bombings. Rose was spotted near the scene of Thomas Cross's kidnapping, which makes him our prime suspect for the shadow climate. Spurred by Eric Soders, the ICA board of directors has asked us to infiltrate the farm and eliminate Sean Rose, along with three other prominent militia members. Ezra Berg, retired Mossad interrogator. Penelope Graves, former Interpol anti-terror analyst, and finally, Maya Parvati, former assassin and gunrunner for the Tamil Tigers. I'll be honest with you, 47. I consider Eric Soda's reasoning hasty and ill-advised. Now, we cannot go against the wishes of the board, but we can conduct our own investigation. Whether a direct threat to the ICA or not, we need to know the Shadow Client's true agenda. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Colorado, 47. The militia has taken up HQ at an old apricot farm and appear to be training for a series of coordinated strikes, ranging from cyber attacks to full-blown guerrilla warfare. The Shadow Client appears to unite specialists and radicals from all over the map, mercenaries and terrorists, hackers and spies joined by an unknown common cause. Satellite scans indicate that the command room is below ground inside an old tornado shelter. Only Rose appears to have access, however, so to get inside, you will need to get creative. This environment is hostile and highly alert, so tread carefully. Good luck, 47. Hello, by fire, man. <laughs> You're telling me. I'm impressed. I come by about a training accident. That would be Burgess, the sharpshooter. He's point man in the Mexico operation. Huh. Got clipped by a ram or something? The team trains with a battering ram to simulate the attack on Secretary Torres' motorcade. 
mostly I don't know. I guess old Bird just had his hat up his ass. John Roseman. Nine out of ten accidents happen in the home. They do say that. Anyway, the guy was lucky. He sprained his ankle, that's all. He'll be back in a couple. So does uh, Rose still supervise the training? Sure. Why? Well, if we ever... A battering ram has injured one of the strike team, point man by the name of Burgess. And according to those militiamen, Maya Parvati oversees training. Sounds promising. I suggest you infiltrate the strike team 47. Perhaps you can relieve the hapless point man of his duties. We get rid of Rose without the boss knowing. I guess uh, Burgess just taught us how. Huh. I like your thinking. Tell Parvati, eh, man? It'll make her day. Go check on Burgess. As soon as the meds kick in, um, just drag his ass back here. Rose is gonna have a hissy fit if we fall behind schedule. Will do. You want him down here? Wait, what? Rose? Hell no. At least not until we have a full team. Let's just keep his constructive feedback to a bare minimum. I'll say no more. Just cross your fingers that the damn thing doesn't fail again. Rose gets a lot of important phone calls. He gets mad as hell when the antenna's down. I think I've seen your boss should have thought of that before the new HQ in the middle of friggin' nowhere. Of course we're set What's wrong with the relay station? The switch is loose. Old model. If it happens again, I guess we can weld it in place or something. Well, I'm sure if it comes to that. Hey, Burgess. How you doing, man? <sighs> oh, what can I say? I'm a bloody idiot. And what happened out there? Oh, I've got tinnitus in my left ear, so I was wearing ear defenders, and I didn't hear the warning whistle. Turns out I was standing in the path of the ram. Lucky the damn thing only clipped me. Could have squashed me against the car. All I have is a sprained ankle. Man, are you sure you're up for this? Rose already talks about replacing you. I am the best point man on the team. I can shoot Torres and everyone in that car between the eyes in 4.03 seconds. I'd like to see him try. No, oh, I don't. This is a dangerous operation, even more so than Thomas Cross. We need our best men on this. Oh, you're making me blush. Look, don't worry, I'll be fine. Just waiting for the meds to kick in. Good to see you. Why, you little...
I'm back. Well, well, our very own punching bag. Any broken bones? Wounded pride, that's all. Good to hear. All right, head over to the briefing area. We'll resume in a moment. Rose, Pravati, the point man is back in action. That's your prerogative. Fine, we'll be waiting. Oh, you were at Jordan Cross's funeral, huh? Oh, uh, I was that thing for you, people let's get to it Burgess is back we're finally ready to make this happen I expect you all to know this by heart but in case amnesia has set in here's the sequence advance to the car with haste eliminate the passengers retrieve the briefcase extract got that and remember speed and accuracy is the name of the game all right now go pick up your weapons and get in position. Move out. Rose. Parvati, please proceed. Pretend I'm not here. Not a problem. That is Sean Rose. Terrorist turned insurgent. All right, let's go again. On your marks. Ready, set, execute. And extract. Come on, shoot him. Nicely done, 47. Parvati won't know what hit her. Good speed and accuracy, but coordination needs to improve. Maya Parvati is down. Good work. Look for any intruders, okay? Fascinating. According to the blueprint, Sean Rose is building an explosive battery unit for a Link 4 smartwatch. The charge appears to be email triggered. The unassuming target checks his messages, the virus triggers the charge, and boom. Very clever, not to mention devious. The resident hackers have installed the software trigger on one of their phones, and here is the punchline. Rose himself wears a Link 4. Hey, nice threads, buddy. Yeah, 
just tied up in the interrogation room. He's one of the enemy's courage. Hardcore. Man, these people don't piss about. Yeah, while well, still base working at a bank. Looks like a false alarm. Good day. Excellent, 47. I dare say Rose is about to get a taste of his own medicine. Well done, 47. Rose should be in for an explosive surprise next time he checks his email. Confirm down. Nicely done, 47. Look out for IEDs. Got it. Red leader, area is clear. Please advise, over. Hey, 
Yeah, we need some security and paramedics here. So this test that Rose has planned seems kind of cruel, doesn't it? I mean, I'm no softy or anything, but it feels excessive to me. She's got it coming. But nobody can switch sides like Graves and, and just expect to be accepted. Tests are in order, man. Yeah, sure, I get that. But playing on her past with Interpol like that? I... I don't know, man. But I just hope the technician knows how to act. She used to be the enemy. I don't have any sympathy for that. I'm sure he'll be fine. He's got the badge, right? Yeah, he showed it to me over by the tent. Rehearsed his lines, too. He's taking this pretty seriously. Should be in the clear. Hey. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see if she takes the hook. And not to mention... Our... Penelope Graves is still new to this outfit, and it looks like Rose is going to test her dedication to the cause. He's arranged for one of the communications technicians to act as an outside agent. The tech is supposed to show her an Interpol badge and escort her to the slurry pit, asking her to betray the militia. Might I suggest a last-minute recasting, 47? I shall go. You think she'll order us to be removed? If she does, I got a 45 cal with her initials on it. I hear you. All set for the sting? Sure. Got a badge in my pocket, prep my lines. Shouldn't be a problem. Almost game time. Um, you, uh, think you can hook her? Graves is new. She comes by every two seconds to check on her work. She's paranoid enough to bite. So Rose basically wants you to pretend you're with Interpol. Uh, get her to come with you, uh, and then what? I'm supposed to lure her to the slurry pit and tell her to roll over on Rose and the rest of us. Try to get her to turn on us. Be interesting to see how she re Still not getting a signal. I need you to adjust the satellite reception. Oh, okay. Uh, wait. How about now? 
Oh, yeah. No, I don't, I don't feel so good. Hey, good to see you. Hmm. Will you please stop that? Penelope Graves. We need to talk. Your... Uh... What is this? I'll explain everything at the slurry pit. It will be in your best interest to do as I say. I understand. I'll see you there. I'm just wondering if you've had the chance to look at my shipment. It's really quite vital, I guess. My stuff is uh, proving... So, I just found out that Pavati was a Tamil tiger. Those were some seriously hard people. I'm beginning to see how she got so rough around the edge. Hey, Miss Graves, you are being recruited back into Interpol as an insider. What? I... Who are you anyway? How did you find me? That is not important. Think about this carefully. You could provide us with valuable intel. If you cooperate, the agency will overlook your unfortunate transgression. <sighs> and what if I refuse, huh? If I scream and get the guards here? I wouldn't do that if I were you. Might prove unhealthy I'll give you a few moments to think about it good work 47 this should give her something to think about okay can you just leave me alone for a few minutes I've got some thinking to do I'm sure Rose won't mind Think, Graves. How did they get to you? Flight out of Lyon under assumed name. Passport provided through Delgado and that vanisher guy. I mean, it looked clean. Changed clothes at J. What? Graves is down. Excellent work, 47. Freak in the mask. 
the hell are you talking about? I was just at the security station watching the feeds. There's this creepy guy interrogating the hostage. He wears like a 3D printed mask. Oh, yeah, that must be Berg. Oh, yeah, man, his interrogation techniques, totally just out of the box stuff. Like truth serums, drugs, that kind of thing. But uh, none of the rough stuff. Now, they don't like to mark up their patients, so to speak. Those Mossad boys like things clean and efficient. Bird. Ezra Bird? Yeah. Yeah, man, I've heard of him. Chemical interrogation expert. I guess it's his makeshift lab they've set up. Word is he can make anyone crack. Oh, man, you don't know the half of it. Ezra Berg, legendary Mossad operative who specializes in chemical interrogation techniques, is here at the compound to interrogate a prisoner. My notes indicate he's set up a makeshift drug lab in a garage, and it looks like he's spending a lot of his time in the basement. Could be an opportunity there, 47. I mean, the stuff this guy's into? Get this. Drug-induced hypnosis, memory wipes, subliminal mind control. Shit's like witchcraft. Glad I'm not the prisoner. Christ, this next-gen warfare makes my head spin. You know, just point me in a direction, Tell me who to shoot, eh? Oh, no, 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 no. You'll get to shoot. Don't worry. There'll be plenty of that. Well, whatever Berg's up to, we better work fast. Rose is itching for some Q&A. Oh, So if we had someone we had to pacify, would you shoot him in the legs or maybe go for the shoulder? To be, I'd go for the soft parts of his thigh or maybe try to graze him just on the neck. You know, a nice like flesh wound. I think that'd stop him. Are you serious? I, I honestly think you are in need of professional help. Right here, right now. You know what? Screw you. You don't respect me. We're through. I'm done with you. Don't take it personal. You're freaking out. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't know it was such a big deal for you. I'm sorry. Jesus Christ. Get back to work, okay? Thank you. 
Hi there, Grunt. How do we look on explosives? Well done, 47. With any luck, the perfectionist Ezra Berg will want to examine his notes closely to figure out what happened. Ezra Berg has been eliminated. Good work, 47. The plot thickens. Someone left in a hurry. Sean Rose was not the Shadow Client. That much is clear. Whoever commands the militia, they got out just in time. Look around, 47. We're getting closer. Someone's done their homework. Look how far it dates back. Hayamoto, Beldingford, Delvade. The Shadow Client has been tracking you for decades. Now, how is that possible? It isn't. Every one of those missions were branded as unsolved or accidents. He must have been looking for a pattern, a certain M.O., which would mean... He knows me. Well, at least this shortens the list. Some kind of network. Power players. From all sectors. Familiar faces, too. Thomas Cross. Klaus Strandberg, Ether, and that's missing banker Eugene Cobb. Well, well. There's a name. Providence. What? No. No, it can't be. The Hidden Hand. Thought they were a myth. A hypothesis, nothing more. The idea that a small cabal of kingmakers, controlling enough corporate and political leaders, could effectively run the world in secret. Maybe not so hypothetical. Keep looking, 47. We need full disclosure. Found something. Sodas. But that would mean... Providence has infiltrated ICA. And Eric Sodas is their operative. Bastard! It all fits. 
He was the one who persuaded the rest of the ICA board to greenlight this operation. This changes everything. Get out, 47. We got what we came for. What about the Shadow Client? He is no longer our primary concern. ICA has been compromised. I always wondered if Providence was real, but I never actually... I will need to confer with the board, but mark my words, 47. This will have consequences. Rose is gone. It was me, wasn't it? They tracked me. I don't believe it. I took every precaution. Rose knew the risks. They all do. You did well, Olivia. I am proud of you. Now listen. The ICA knows about you. They kept you alive because they needed you, and now they don't. We won't talk again. Not until the storm is over. I don't like it. This man you know what he's capable of. You need to end this now. I ran away as a boy. My friend and I, away from that place. We came upon a small farming community. The people were dirt poor, but this woman, she took us in. We were awakened the next morning by the shots. A dozen people lay face down in the snow. Our warden didn't like to leave witnesses. They shot the woman and her family last. They made sure that we watched the whole thing. This is your gift, the warden told us. Your gift and your curse. Touching lives only by ending them. You know him. Better than anyone. 